This is the prayer you are going to pray. Very true, sir. Where are you preaching? In Nome. In Nome? Yes, sir. Because I saw you preaching in a place, yes, inside a place, preaching. Yes, sir. When I saw people enter the, the room, they will not come again. They enter the, the room, they will not come again. Yes, sir. It's not good. Yes, sir. Huh? I 
now was closer to your family. What a gay film! It is not what? It's not all. You know that? It's not all. It's the symbolic one in the name of having you. But what about the friendship, dog, dog, Mimo? Shocking. Yeah? Yeah, Papa, I'm telling you. Yeah. 
Nigeria University, we came back. That I could sleep. I don't sleep. I have sleepless night, only pain. My eyes will dry. I pray the whole night. No, no solution. So if you as a servant of God can tell me that I should suffer the wish to live, man of God, it has been too much on me alone. You have come to your solution. You're not the one that told me that I've been manipulating the place. Did you tell me? No, sir. No. So somebody who spoke to me, the Lord who spoke to me, want to bring you a solution. So don't block it. His name is Merciful King. Okay. I will not pray for you. Come. Ask God. Father, have mercy upon me and upon those that have been praying for their death. Sit me down. Go down. And it should be a sincere, don't desire the others. Father, have mercy upon me and upon those that we pray for them to die innocently. Lord, let your mercy speak and let your will be done in my life. Jesus, I know this is a solution center and it marks the end of all the pain. Thank you, Lord, for refusing my faith to yourself and in Jesus' name. Amen. Call your names. I, Mufo Nongel Fali, I'm free and I'm set free to be in Jesus' name. Be free. Be free. Let that be in the Be healed. But the man came up, seized the lands, part of the land, and he 
became mad and died. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. So that's why I'm telling you be careful of that compound. It is tied to your destiny. So they believe be very careful. Very careful. I will still pray for you, but you need more individual prayer. There's a time the Lord came and showed you a mountain. Yes, Lord. That you need to go up there and take prayer time. Yes, did Lord. you go there? I did not go. Eh? I did not go. So how do you want to obey God? Everything that God speaks is important. Why do you know what He wanted to do with you there? By the time, I did not have understanding. I know the, whether you have understanding or not. Afterwards, I did it. That's what I'm saying, Daddy. Yes. How do you know what God wanted to do with you then? And you need to do that but by mercy and by supplication, asking forgiveness from mm God. -hmm. Okay? Yes, sir. Mm. Because I saw there's a place, it's like a church. They, they, will, they will climb a small place like this, then enter into the church. A small place, they will just climb like this. Then they enter into the church. This is the door they enter. Then there is a place like a small step like this. Yes, sir. On the, the left hand side. That's the church, sir. Yes. That's then the church. This is you standing there. Yes, yes, People yes. are sitting like this. Very true, sir. Very true. Why are those singing there? You stand there, are some people singing there. That's the choir. Is the choir singing there? Yes, sir. Okay. But I want to let you know that you are coming. You have crossed an offline scene in front there. There's an offline scene in front there, far in front before you come right to where the church is. Yes, sir. They drink there. Yes, sir. Do you remember the place? Yes, sir. Yes. They are holding meeting there in the night, and then your church is also, they are mentioning your name there. So the meeting there is the meeting in charge of the whole authority. Opportunity. meeting. They will meet in there. Something mysterious happened with the people that own the bar. Very true. You know the thing. I don't want to mention it. You don't want to mention it. Yes, sir. It is the fruit of their activities. Anyway, Father, bless your soul and bless his ministry. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Hallelujah. You are all welcome to Kingship International Ministries. Sir, please, can we have your name and where you're coming from? My name is Felix von Como. I'm from Dub. You're Mr. Felix von Como from Indop. So we saw in during the uh, Sunday service of today, the man of God, Prophet Frank, gave you a prophecy concerning you and your ministry and about your wife too. So we would like you to confirm to the world about the prophecy the man of God gave to you. Yeah, he gave a prophecy. First of all, said he see me preaching. Where are you preaching? In Dom. In Dom. Yes. Because I saw you preaching in a place, yes. inside the place, preaching. Yes. Actually, I am a, an evangelist and I'm working with a mission. And I've been working since 2005. And uh, he said he's seen people coming and going. When I saw people enter the they go. They don't come again. They enter the they go. They don't come again. Yes, sir. It's not good. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. It's actually something that has been in the ministry. What he said was actually true. Hallelujah. And we also um, noticed that he gave you a prophecy about your your your, your private yes. being attacked. Is that true? Yes. He also attacked your mom. Yes, sir. Hmm? Seriously, sir. Ah, how is this? It is. It is. I had uh, a dream of attack 2005. Yes, where I was in that dream, I was like climbing to go to heaven. 
And in that dream, as I was climbing to go, I saw a woman came and attacked me, held me, grabbed me, and struggled that if I have to go to heaven, she will attack me there. That is, uh, she will attack my private part so that if I want to go, let me go one attack. So I got up, I prayed within that time. I did not really take it serious because it did not even mean anything to me. But it's later on I discovered that I've been having sexual weakness in some of the areas. Now I started recalling that probably what was done at that time, I had not fought it completely to eradicate it. Yes. So we thank God for the word of prophecy the man of God gave to you today. So, madam, please, can we have your name? And the man standing beside you, is he your husband? Yes, sir, it's my husband. I'm from Melissa, from Dope also. We came together. Yeah, they, during the service, the servant of God came to me and prophesied to me that he's seeing a man, an aged man, that they have arranged a marital issue with. That was very true. Somebody, this is in the village. Somebody saw you and has and already booked you in his heart things to marry you. And this person was now closer to your family. It was what? Yes. Closer. Don't be afraid. We are dialoguing. Yes. You did not tell me anything, so allow me to talk what the God told me. So, he wanted to marry you, but he put it in the house, but now it's closer to the family. Yes. And know that when time will reach, they will just hand you to, to him. Yes, sir. But there was a surprise for him. Yes. Very true, sir. Huh? Very true. Have you investigated with your people whether the, the man did not do some things to them? The man gave the something, but they gave him a... And I explained when I was still in school, that was during my secondary education, about some 18 years behind. My father had to plan with this delegate to get married to me. The man lost the wife. So when I came back, they have already arranged about the marriage and the rest. At that time, I was already a born again. I said, cannot happen. When they forced it, they took me to Bamenda. I went, I stayed out in Bali Park for the whole night. And the next day, the man was angry. He took me back to my father. And the family gathered together. They went and gave him what he gave my father as a bride price, something like that. And as the man of God said that I had an attack in my stomach. That is very true. I had an operation in my navel, and I usually feel pain there. So he explained to me that even my father back the money, the one that they used to drink together was not back, and that the prayer I used to pray and kill, I should not do that. I should pray for God's mercy, and God will have mercy on me. And truly, I've made up my mind. Indeed, I was praying and sending war and death in the camp of the enemy because after that operation, I've suffered. I've been in hospitals. I delivered a baby. The child was not up to six months. I could not breastfeed the child. I was just held captive. I could not move, something like cram. I could not go to work. My husband was carrying me from one hospital to another. So I believe this is a solution center, and I came here as God's speak to me through the servant of God. I believe that is the end of all and I know it is well with the righteous and I claim it as he helped me, he asked me to kneel down and pray God should forgive me for such prayer. I knelt down, I prayed and he laid his hand and prayed for me for God's mercy and his healing and I believe it is well in Jesus' name. Indeed it is well in Jesus' mighty name. And so during the course of um, the, the prophecy given to you by the man of God, we notice that he, he said to you that where you live, there is an old man. He is like the person who was supposed to hand over to you some properties. Come. There's one papa. Eh? No. You come and enter the man's compound. This, are, this is like a kitchen, smooth, dry house kitchen. Yes. But you go there. Then the man's house itself is standing there. Yes, sir. Yes, but the house is well done. But the kitchen side and all this side is muddy house, is not well done. That is the compound. That should be our level. It's your level? Yes. Okay. Be careful with that compound. Be very 
very careful that compound. So what can you say about this prophecy that the man of God gave to you? Yeah, the like I said, uh, the person in question is the closest neighbor to us in the village, the house we have in the village. And uh, this man, when I was growing up, the, after the death of my father and the person who named me and willed this property to me and kept things under his custody, this man was calling me constantly King David. And he, he, the leaders of the church at that time, they knew that when I would come of age, he was supposed to hand over all what was given to him to hand over to me when I would be grown up. But to our greatest surprise, he started fighting us. He started by seizing part of the land that was our own, cut part of the land because of one color, not that produced so much, and took it. And there were two of them that were fighting. The first one fought, and one day his three children died. And finally he died. And this other person was warned, but he kept on persisting on the battle until he went mad and finally died without giving those things. And his children, I persistent torture to my mother in the village. His, the children of that late man are still a problem. The goats, pigs, and the rest, they are of devastation in our compound. And so I can really testify that truly that compound is a problem. So I said, that means you're trying to tell us that all what the man of God gave you as a prophecy is what really happened to your life. Very clearly. Yeah, it's very clear. As you, you saw it during the service, those, those documents are not with me. Within uh, seven months no, or six like that, I went to more than five different big, big hospitals. I've been in, in, in Yaoundé for long. I've been in Sichon for long. No solution. And finally, it's God that finally arrested it. And before the prophecy came, as I was testifying in church, I can't sleep every day. I live on drugs. Everything was very true. And I trust God it is well. Hallelujah. And it is well in Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> so, sir, what word of advice would you like to give to those who are watching you all over the world? Uh, what I would like to advise everybody is that if you are a child of God, you are truly a child of God. You are not a child of any pastor or any mission or anybody. You are a child of the Most High God. And you should be open to go to where the Spirit of the Lord leads you. And you should be open to go for help where the Spirit of God leads you. You should not be bound by doctrine or bound by any barrier of any kind. And I live my life as somebody who is serving God in whatever direction he wants me to go. And that is why I feel very free when I come here. When I come, as I've come here, I feel this is my father's house. And I enjoy the presence of my father here. So there is nothing, nobody should key you that. You shouldn't go to that church. You shouldn't go to that mission. You shouldn't, I, mean, I, don't, I don't believe me that. I'm a free citizen of heaven. And wherever God's children are gathered, I enjoy it. So I feel very happy here. And if anybody is worried that I'm here, I pray may God forgive and deliver the person to enjoy the freedom I enjoy. Amen. So we thank God for the word of God that came into your life, to your life equality, you, madam, as prophecy. In Jesus' mighty name.